Presenting a new theory about the feasibility of existence of speed faster than light in several ways. Merely looking at the world around us, let us discover that the rotational movement is more remarkable than the other types of movement existing in the universe. For example, if we observe the moon well, we see that it turns around itself and around the earth which rotate about its axis and also around the sun. The sun itself at the same time revolves around itself and around the galactic center. Even our galaxy, the Milky Way, follows the same rule and is simultaneously rotating around itself and around the supposed center of the universe. We can therefore say that the whole universe is in rotation. And if there was not this rotation from the Big Bang, the universe must have been in the form of a ball of gas, no planet, star or galaxy was to be formed. Now we are going to study the speed of celestial objects at the hypothetical edges of the universe in four different methods. Method 1 Let us use the basic formula of speed equal to the distance divided by time and suppose that the orbit is a circle centered on the assumed center of the universe. Then, knowing the period and the radius of rotation, we can calculate the average orbital speed for each of these celestial objects. The rotation period of the Moon is about 1 month or 0.08 year and the rotation radius is about 10 to the power of 5 km. That being said, the speed is around 10 to the power of 3 km per hour. As the radius increases, the speed increases. Two important points can be noticed in this table. First, the further away an object is from the center of rotation, the higher the speed gets. Second, the rotation period of celestial objects is much shorter than their lifetime. To complete this table, we need the measure of the radius of the observable universe. The most recent research recognizes the most distant celestial objects at 10 to the power of 24 km. Since the age of a universe is estimated at about 13.7 billion years, to measure the speed of a celestial object rotating at the edges of the observable universe, we take the rotation period between 1 and 10 billion years. By a simple calculation, we can see that the speed at the edges of the universe is approximately between 10 to power of 11 or 10 to power of 12 km per hour, that is 100 or 1000 of times greater than the light speed which is about 10 to power of 9 km per hour in vacuum. Method 2 in modern physical cosmology, the cosmological principle is the notion that the special distribution of matter in the universe is homogeneous and isotropic when viewed on a large enough scale. Since the forces are expected to act uniformly throughout the universe and should therefore produce no observable irregularities in the large-scale structures. In such a system, the physical quantities do not change suddenly and from one corner to the other, some harmony could be observed. Suppose a celestial object rotates at a different angular velocity. According to the Newtonian laws, this object must pass into another orbit and it is even possible that it strikes another object and consequently disrupts the homogeneity of the universe. So, we could say that all celestial objects revolve around the supposed center of the universe at different distances but with an identical angular velocity and it is this identity that causes the homogeneity of the universe on large scales. For example, if we observe the radius of the orbit of satellites as well as their average speed, we can notice that the fastest are those that turn further away from the Earth to be able to remain in an orbit with a fixed radius. Thus, the value of the speed divided by the radius of rotation, that is, the angular velocity, 
remains in variable. We know that the speed of moon around the Earth is 3,600 km per hour and that the Earth's speed around the Sun is 108,000 km per hour. As far as the celestial objects, which are at the edges of the Milky Way, at 10 to power of 17 km from its center, it reaches a speed of 10 to power of 6 km per hour. According to the latest research, the most distant celestial objects are at 10 to power of 24 km. From the homogeneity of the universe, we deduce the identity of the angular velocity everywhere in the space and we can, therefore, say that the angular velocity at the edges of the Milky Way and at the edges of the observable universe is equal. In which index 1, 2, etc. are for the celestial objects at the edges of the Milky Way, and N is for objects that rotate at the edges of the observable universe. Given the above proportion, even the speed of objects which are situated at the distance of 10 to power of 20 km is more than the speed of light. It should be also noticed that all the values of the proportion are the minimums possible and the speed could be much greater. Based on the cosmological principle and a simple calculation about the orbital speed and distance of the celestial objects, we prove that any celestial objects that located at 10 to power of 20 km up to 10 to power of 24 km are rotating with a speed more than the light speed. On the other hand, we know that the Milky Way is not at the center of the universe and it is not adequate to compare the speed and the radius of rotation of the objects that rotate at the edges with those that rotate at the edges of the universe. The more adequate comparison is about the length of the arc of the circle centered in O and radius R1 with the length of the arc concerned on the circle of radius R. Taking into account the proportionality already mentioned, we can say that the calculated speed is, in fact, the minimum possible speed of the rotation of objects at the edges of the observable universe. And certainly, billions of celestial objects are currently rotating at the edges of the universe at the speed that is thousands of times faster than that of light. 10 to power of 24 km is the radius of the observable universe. This means that science is unable to go further. Let us assume that the real value of the universe radius would be 10 to power of 50 km. By a simple calculation, we could find out that the speed of celestial objects at the edges of the universe is billions of times greater than that of light. Method 3 as you know, the universe is expanding and over time, a celestial object is moving far away from the supposed center of the universe. And according to the Hubble formula, V equal to H0d. The speed of the celestial object will increase as the radius increases. So, the radius tends to be a very large number and as a result, it will pass the speed of light, whether we like it or not. Method 4 As mentioned above in Method 2, for celestial objects that are at the edges of the systems, the velocity increases as the size of the systems increases from one to another. Look at the Saturn and its satellites as the smallest system in our example. The satellites revolve around the Saturn with a speed about 10 to the power of 4 km per hour. The next bigger system is solar system in which the Saturn itself revolves with a speed 5 multiple of 10 to the power of 4 km per hour around the central mass of this system, the Sun. The next bigger system is the Milky Way galaxy in which the solar system revolving around its own central mass, central black hole with a speed exceeding 10 to the power of 6 km per hour. But could we imagine? the rotating systems bigger than the Milky Way? The answer is yes. The greatest systems are the same as the missing elements of the published periodic table of Mendeleev at 1869. Mr. Mendeleev had predicted the properties of those missing elements and after a while these elements were discovered and named. 
Saleh theory also predicts the existence of rotational systems larger than the Milky Way. For example, for the next system larger than the Milky Way, a large number of galaxies, including the Milky Way, are rotating around the central supermassive galaxy. We name the system as Atlas-like structure and the central supermassive galaxy as central supermassive galaxy. In the near future, by using advanced tools and telescopes, the sufficient observations certainly will be made to confirm this. It is said that as the system grows, the speed increases so that it could keep its structure and balance. Like the big planes that have to go faster than the lighter ones in order to take off. So, if we observe rotating systems larger than the Milky Way, the speed will exceed 10 to the 6th power. In fact, if every time the system grows, the power of the tangential velocity of the objects at the edges of the system increases one by one, the speed could be 10 to the power of 7, 8, 9, etc. And for systems that are three or four times larger than the Milky Way, the universe, we will certainly have values higher than the speed of light. <laughs>